Hi guys, welcome to the channel. I'm uh, just going to go for a quick upgrade for the K1 and K1 Max uh, to stop door damage um, and not do a Jesse. Those that know what I'm talking about have seen the video. Okay, if you haven't, watch um, Uncle Jesse's video of him putting together his K1 Max. Anyway, this is a quick um, thing about how to stop or help prevent that happen because I have actually smashed the door on my K1 as well. A K1 Max, I should say. Um, and it was my own fault. So I'll go through what happened and how to fix it and sort of prevent it or help prevent it from happening. There you go, this is my K1 Max. And usually your door opens to about here. Now when mine smashed, I had it just there as I was pulling out the plate. And I've knocked this and it's put pressure on where it joins up here and it just shattered it sort of exploded almost now these new hinges I've got that I got off Thingiverse I'll put a link underneath these hinges here I printed them out and you use the existing um, screws and stuff you got oh no sorry you need to get some longer screws they're only M3s so only small screws but they're a bit longer than the, the ones you get with the door but everything else you use you use the little cushionings and stuff and what it allows it to do is open all the way up now, if I didn't have my P1P sitting there, I would be able to push it all the way back to the side of the printer here. So it's a 270 degree um, opening. So you can attach, just open it up and just have it go and latch onto the back of your, or the side of your printer. But I found that is enough for me. I've got enough room here and I won't knock it and it closes and still seals up. Okay, so, if you don't want a Jesse incident, or if you don't want to do a Jesse, um, I suggest you put these on. It is really easy to do. There are two screws at the side that are pre, the, the screw holes are just taking out screws that are already there holding your side panel on. So you just need to take them out and screw that bit on. Do the same down the bottom here. This is a print and place hinge. So you don't need to do any connection there or there. You don't have to put anything together. There's just two screws there, two screws here, and two screws down the bottom here. And that's all you need to do. And then, it, then you've got it working. See the screws just come through here. Oh, that's the other thing. You need um, M3 inserts, um, screw inserts or nut inserts um, that you can get off. I'll put a link down below. I think I've got them off eBay or Amazon sell them as well. Um, but they're just like you just put a, a soldering iron on the end of them and just push them in it melts the plastic and sets them in place so I put two on each two at one two down the top two down the bottom that's that's it so so they're just the screws holding the screen on and the little nuts holding the screen on uh, is all you need to get and everything else is just um, it just be printed off now you can see my little model in there I'm doing a spider-man helmet but the damn thing <laughs> The print head got, got caught on something. I'm finding out that if I have it orientated straight on like that, it tends to catch. The, I'm not sure what's happening because I'm not watching it. But I've noticed it's, it's caught on something and moved the print head. If I put it on a 45 degree angle, they don't seem to happen because I've been doing a lot of um, T-Rex skulls. And if I've got it on a 45 degree angle, it doesn't, it prints the whole thing. If I've got it straight on like this, it actually catches and causes a problem so if you're printing large things if you put on 45 degree angle which I've got to do on this one you stop that sort of thing happening which is annoying because that's half a reel of red filament <laughs> as you can see just there it's shifted which is annoying now oh well never mind these things happen okay guys so you can see it's a pretty easy thing to do it's just a um, print in place takes well, if you're using your, your K1, it'll probably take about an hour to print, uh, if that. Um, and you just need to put four screws in on the door and four screws in <laughs> on the side. So eight screws in total. Um, and, I mean, if you have to buy them, it's a couple of bucks, plus some filament. It's less than a $10 fix. Um, probably good. Hey, Corralid, if you're listening, if you can put a hinge that doesn't stop at the 90 degree mark, on your K1s and K1 Max or anything in the future, it will save your door. Now, Uncle Jesse's smashed. 
because <laughs> it probably should have a bit of tape on the door <laughs> so it doesn't automatically open up um, when you tilt it on the side but his he had put it on the side so he put it on a bit of an angle and the doors come open he probably assumed that there had a bit of tape on it which is a fair enough assumption um, but if it had that hinge on it may not have happened it may have because it was swinging at quite a rate but it's the fact that it had to stop at that 90 degrees and then all that pressure of the swing went through the screen it just basically exploded the similar thing happened to me but I was didn't have it on the side I just had the door open and I've knocked it with my leg and it shattered so my fault because it has been before where I think geez I better not leave that open because that might smash and I went and did it <laughs> How stupid am I? Anyway, guys, um, a nice quick one. I hope this helps. I'll put all the links in this in this description below. Please like and subscribe. Helps the channel out heaps. There's heaps of you that watch that don't subscribe or like. And it, it's a bit of a struggle to have to pay for every single thing without getting any. So if I get up to a thousand, for those that don't know, if you get up to a thousand subscribers, you can start making money like those stupid little ads that YouTube put on. Up until th if you don't have a thousand. You make nothing and YouTube makes all the money. So you know, I'm not wanting to become rich. I just would like a tiny bit of money to help pay for everything. <laughs> so you know, if, if it costs you nothing um, and it'd be much appreciated if you did a subscribe. Thanks guys and I will see you tomorrow. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> see you next week. Um, I am doing a video on my laser engraver that I've got. Some really interesting stuff that I never knew you could engrave on. That I'm going to talk about the settings I've used and what's engraved on. So there's all sorts of things that I thought I thought it was mainly for wood. It's not. There's heaps of other stuff you can engrave on. So join me for that. It'll probably go up in the next couple of days. Okay, guys. See ya. Bye. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate the support. You might like one of these or one of these <laughs> videos um, that I've made in the past. So feel free. <laughs> okay. Thanks, guys. Bye.